kari la chitu ika about uh, gengeton music. Mm -hmm. And somehow, ama piano, we, ama piano imeisha isha? Aa. Uh -uh. eh, no, 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 not ko pick sasa. Are you serious? No, not ko pick sasa. Nini una feel safe na fanya wrong? Because we can't just be enjoying. Mm. Eh, ama piano na Nigerian. Ama piano, um, I would say ni kari. Kuliko gengeton kwa sababu ya nini? Mm. Gengeton ilikuwa kari. Iyo time yake. But the people who are representing Kengeton and Koko Hawana Mahadili, mm. Hawako and Ajo, what they're doing in business. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel while well, you lose what they were supposed to be doing. So I lose focus. Is it because I couldn't have mentors? That's why I think, yeah, first, ni Kosababu and Koko Hawana mentors. Another thing, you call the people who were managing them at that time because it was just a new wave of young kids, you know. Mm -hmm. They didn't know what they want in life. So the people who were supposed to show them the way, they were manipulating them. But the regime wanted to try. Now we go to the I tried. I tried, but we don't mean him jinka. You know, we say we go to Shonya. We saw no one him to imbabi. But he had to dig deep. Behind yo, baby, yo, baby, ni ni ni. Una get one, una two, baby. So, wana kona wakwa softy, but waju yo, baby, ome work harder than them. No kafika kuwa baby, you get. Mm. So, kuna tabia uli have ku kuwacha, ndo kukuwe, ndo kujio kuwe baby, sindeo. Exactly. So, uli piti ya struggle, poka safa, but you don't bring your bitterness ya kusafa kwa mm. life ya kwa sahi. Ome get. Okay. So you have you have to accept. Jana imeisha, jana ni jana haita kusaidia. <laughs> You get. So na kutamuse kwa sababu wali struggle, <coughs> hataki kuonesha wase wengine njia shortcut. Mm. Anataka pia wafi, wafil the same pain enya lipitia. Una get? So which lazimo, is, lazimo utembe na mimi yi Which matozi. is a very stupid ama backward mentality kwa sababu ya nini? Sisi tukona inchi yetu kwa independence. Our forefathers fought for this independence. You want to tell us, P.S.C. to fight for the fight for independence, not to go in the freedom. So the same freedom is coming. <laughs> yeah, that is. And the blue is on the way. Yellow is on the way. That is. Ay, that ay, one. Is, that is a backward mentality. We mm. need to see. Okay, sasa to me fika apa sahi. What can we do to make better kesho mm. than yesterday? You get. Yeah. So mean the kwa na wanesha ni aje ma boys. Life yendi evil. Our mm. say wana wambia ati artist na artist to na fight. Yeah. They're telling you lies. Artist na artist afai ko fight. Artist na artist afai ko lipishana anything. We are making the bread for the public. You get? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's you bring the yeast, I bring the jiko, the producer brings the milk, we mix for the public. Whatever comes to the table, that's what we will share. You get? Mm -hmm. You don't come and ask money from an artist just because we don't have money already. So we don't have money to sisi water. Yes, we don't have money to get the sisi water, but we don't have money to attract more money so that we can get the money to get the money and profit. But we don't have money to get the 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 money. Let me ask you, do you want to say something about the language? That yes. we use Swahili. Uh, do you think it's affecting it's also af the music it's now, industry? After you have hit the success, you know it now. Lindsay, I will tell you, eh? Mm. When you Kenya after kwa music, na Kenya wa sani wengine local artists when after is very different. You get? How when after kuli parent, kunwa kagari na kuishi maisha poa. Already ni kona hizo vitu. You get the point? So I'm not looking for the same thing. So we have to do it after success. You get now success with my music. So I need a bigger crowd. You get more than the local crowd. Because when we show pictures, we show in Kenya. You know what I mean? When I'm to my lip of 500,000 kwa club. You know what I mean? Akuna. You get so me me 500,000. Oki ni ambia ni kujia kufanya show kwa club. Biako ta kumbi yo chukua ununua my mingi uchemisha watu wa village ni wata kwenye wata kumbuko na ndoto. You get the point. So me me na liko na tafta. We go global. You get like. How can we do as uh, music to the global? So we need to start na kizungu so that it can go global. So when mm. I was doing that, everybody was criticizing me and saying, oh, jamaa, I'm a how. Mm. Charity begins at home. So fanya kiswahili watu wakwata sana, wambia aje kiswahili ni mepita yo level. You get, it's <laughs> like someone, ali graduate high school, munataka kuwanataka kwenda sasa university, muna mwambia swame class one, kwa sababu charity begins at class one. <laughs> <laughs> you get the point? <laughs> So hiyo do walikuwa understand. So unaona kama wasemwenye ameona success kidogo kwa muziki I will say the likes of Otile Brown, si ndio? Mm. 
harmonize lakini anaimba Kiswahili si ndio bila alienda America ngoja bila alienda America for the first time wakirudi nasema aje tu change la language do you know when i went abroad first i was 16 17 i was taking my girlfriends for shopping in paris understand so i know there is something called language barrier you understand so mimi nilikuwa europe nilienda kupeleka madem zangu akaona ile Eiffel Tower na tukafunga kufulia mapenzi so i know na Italy nimeenda huko na tafuta mtu tuongee hata kizungu hakuna wanaongea bonjourno 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 so in short so in short musicians wetu hawana exposure exposure is the thing you know get so Nairobi ndio mahali kubwa aliwahi kuwa ameku na ukikuja huko wazani aje buda umepiga luku Unajua sasa hiyo hiyo ndio ile kitu walikuwa wameona kubwa zaidi. So the moment you get exposure you see that there is a bigger world mm-hmm. that people are more civilized wow. yeah. and they are using other languages. That's mm. the time you realize. By the way I was locking myself in a small cocoon. But how would, I, would you advise our upcoming do si kila mtu anaweza travel hivyo? And and fanya wengine hawana kitu kweli anatafuta. This is why this is why you listen to people who have exposure. <laughs> You okay. get the point. Mm. Ukikuja uanze kubishana na mtu ameenda Europe zamani utakuwa naong. Yaani it's like you are just shadow boxing. Unaongea na angalia huyu mtu Mungu bwana. Utasaidika dini wewe kijana. Umen understand? Yeah. Okay. I, I always give example eh. na, na one person. Kuna hadithi moja hivi. Kuna jamaa alikuwa hajawahi kuona kwa maisha yake tangia azaliwa. Alikuwa alizaliwa kio kipofu. So sijui nini lilifanyika miracle ikafanyika akafunguliwa macho ghafla binvu pa akaona punda akasema hey <laughs> mnyama ni kubwa ni kitu gani akaambiwa ni punda baada ya 2 seconds akafungwa tena macho pa <laughs> sasa si anaji ule jamaa akamzungusha anamwambia eh hey, kuna mnyama mwingine hapa anaitwa farasi nimeona nimeona mnyama mwingine mkubwa anaitwa farasi hapa anasema ni mkubwa kuliko punda ana copy everything to what anajua we stop pushing in eh we stop the killer so we go for me my coffee bro so kuna bro akutana na jamaa akutana na ndovu akasema eh eh huu ni babu kubwa anamwambia ni mkubwa kweli kuliko punda then everything ana compare to na hii kitu aliona the moral of the story is Kenya wao unajua ni kubwa usikuwa unaiweka ndio kubwa kuna watu wameona mambo kubwa kukushinda Kushinda. yeah so be humble and be willing to learn every day Great. so yo chile brown tumeambiwa swali umeenda us juzi tour tutakuta ah so uh, bro before to release eh? mm-hmm. kuna game nataka tucheze hapa eh? yes piki piki uh, pongi yeah uh, <laughs> inaitwa piki piki pongi really so hiki mna 